All right, seventh grade. So this lesson is about cartograms, what they are and how to read them. So a cartogram is another type of map. Um, and this type of map is specifically used to compare numerical data or statistics, numbers that we know about different places. The key to a cartogram is that the map is drawn only with straight lines and right angles. So it's very pixelated, um, kind of blocky, if you want to think of it that way. Um, a lot of people compare it to like Minecraft, how everything is square. Um, but with those straight lines and right angles, they do try to keep the general outline of the location similar. So if you look at this picture of the United States, it doesn't look much like the United States, but you can notice um, this piece at the bottom is supposed to represent Florida, kind of has that resemblance. And then it has another dip at the bottom to represent Texas. And that comes up the coast for what would be California, Washington, Oregon. And then the line across the top edge or would be like the northern border of the U.S. where it's a straight line where the U.S. and Canada touch. And then coming down the east coast. So it's not a perfect outline. But they use the data. They draw the location, in this case a country, using straight lines and right angles only. And they try to keep the shape as close as they can. So in this cartogram, they used a certain number of squares to represent the number being shown. So this cartogram is talking about calories per capita per day. So when we look at the vocab a little later in this class, per capita means per person. So the data being shown on this cartogram is on average how many calories a person in the U.S. in 2005 would eat in a day, and each square equals 100. So if we counted by 100s, we would know, on average, how many calories someone in the United States would eat in 2005. I think I just went over all of this. So, um, to save the time in counting, this country is drawn with 39 squares. So they used 39 boxes to make the outline of the U.S. And that represents 39 times 100 equals 3,900 calories on average for someone in the U.S. in 2005. The way they did this involves a little bit of math. So it says here, to find the per capita or per person food consumption, you divide the total number of calories eaten in the country in a day. So in 2005, let's see, we have hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, 1 trillion, 121 billion, 863 million calories were eaten in the U.S. in one day. And if we divide that by the number of people who lived in the U.S. at the time, 291,000, I'm sorry, 291,166,000 people, you can see that that comes out to 3,853. So that's the average number of calories a person would eat. To figure out how many squares that we're going to use when we draw out our map, you figure out how much each square represents, and you divide your per capita food consumption by that number. So in this cartogram, every square equals 100 calories. So I take my total food capita and divide it by 100, and I get 38.53 and we round up to the nearest square, which would be 39. So we used 39 squares to make this map. So what you're gonna be asked to do is to create a cartogram for the country of India. So I've done the first set of math with the biggest numbers for you. 
the total consumption, or calories per day, we have hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, two trillion, five hundred thirty-seven billion, five hundred thirty-one million calories per day, with a population of one billion eighty million two hundred sixty thousand people. So when you divide that out, you get two thousand three hundred forty-nine calories per capita. On this square, I'm sorry, on this grid, one square is going to equal 100 calories. So we take our per capita number, 2,349, and divide that by 100. So that's the math problem I'm going to ask you to do. Feel free to use your calculator. And you're going to round that to the nearest whole number. Remember, if the number after the decimal is 5 or higher, you round up. If the number after the decimal is 4 or lower, you round down. So what you're going to do on your Google Doc on the frog assignment, I've given you the example of the U.S. to use as a model. I've written out the directions, just like I went over in this video. And I've included a map so you know what shape India roughly is. So you're going to finish off these math problems on your Google Doc. And then you're going to take a turn trying to draw a cartogram of India by shading in the correct shape using the correct number of squares, which is your answer to this math problem. On the Google Doc, your grid is a table, so to fill in the square, you'll just click on it and then click the fill button. So I'm going to show you that really quick. Hmm. Oh, here it is. So this is what your Google assignment looks like. And again, you have the example of the US right here to help you. You have the setup for the math problems and I matched the colors a little bit here for you. And then you have your map of India and your grid to make your cartogram. So when you go to make your cartogram and you have your total number of boxes that you're gonna use, you're going to shade these in by clicking in the box and then changing the background color of that box. You can use whatever color you want. You don't have to use gray. But the key here is you need to use the correct number of boxes. Once you finish this, follow the directions on the frog assignment to complete the vocab review. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns, and I will see you guys later this week.